Welcome to Business Talk, where ABC5 takes a deeper look at local businesses and services. Well, I'm here with someone who has an incredible name for a healing center. Her name is Care in Love. What, what could be better? Care in Love, you're the <laughs> clinical nurse manager here at Imperial Valley Wound Healing Center. And tell me a little bit about the spectrum of care you have here in what is a wound healing center? Well, we provide care for his surgical wounds, which is a wound that's opened up after surgery, which we don't often like that, but it happens. It's diabetic foot ulcers, um, traumatic wounds, burns um, that we can treat here successfully. If we feel like we can't manage them here, then of course we try to find other avenues of care for them. And what are the methods that you use? What are the different um, therapies? Well, we like to talk about our advanced therapies here that we use, or advanced modalities. We use a negative pressure wound therapy, which is called the wound back, that uh, we put on patients to help the wound granulate up more quickly. We have used, uh, we do debridements on patients, which we were, we're cleaning the wound. Debridements? Do, mm -hmm, debridements? What is that exactly? A debridement is where we're taking, there's a couple of kinds. We use an enzymatic where we can use a topical um, medication that we put on the wound that will help that wound kind of break itself down. We also use, our, our main method is sharp debridement where the doctor uses a scalpel or a curette to clean the wound up, or we have used medical maggots to clean wounds medical up. Medical maggots? Yes. That, that sounds like something from the, the dark ages, but it's still very effective? It's very effective in helping patients. The, they're, they're treated or grown sterilely on Petri dishes at the company that provides them for us. We put them on a wound, they stay in the wound for uh, 48 to 72 hours. We take them out, the maggots out, and we have a beautiful clean wound. Very fascinating. Any it other is. therapies or, or treatments options? Uh, well, we have patients that go to surgery for grafts or flaps, depending on what their situation is. And, and tell me about the process. How does someone come here? I mean, is it through a referral system? Is it um, walk-in or? Yeah, we do accept walk-ins here. Um, Sometimes they may have to come back on a different day, but a patient can walk in. They, do, they can do self-referral. We get a lot of our patients from either our hospital referral or other physicians will refer the patients to us. So that's, um, that's how they, are, they come to us. But they don't require, we don't require referral. We do do a self-referral. Well, this is a fascinating place, and I still can't get over I need to see your driver's license. Make sure Karen <laughs> Love is your real name. But. Yeah, that was a great help for my husband, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The people is also the excellent, very professional. Uh, and I'm very glad to be coming here. That's all for today's edition of Business Talk on ABC5.